What's going on, y'all? I just wanted to do a tutorial on how I get audio straight from YouTube into Ableton. This should be able to work for whatever DAW you're using. Just want to have a basic understanding of how your audio flows. So for me, I have my sound card. Nothing special. Um, in the back, I have my line level inputs, which is pretty much means uh, when you want audio to flow into your sound card. You go plug it in here. This is the quarter inch jack. And on the other end, I have, excuse me, that's the eighth, yeah, quarter inch. And on the other end is my eighth inch. So I have eighth inch, it's a quarter inch jack. And that goes into my line level input. So what I'm going to do is just plug in my sound card into my computer, the USB. And basically any sound that comes from my computer, I can record into my DAW. So I'm going to take the eighth inch jack and plug it into my headphone port on my computer. So that any audio that comes out of the computer is going into the headphone jack and into my sound card. So now I want to tell Ableton to receive audio from my sound card. So I want to tell my DAW to receive audio from my sound card. So I'll go into my settings and audio right here I go to it was on built in input. I want to switch to Lexicon Lambda. That's my sound card. And now Ableton will receive audio from my sound card. My sound card is getting the audio from my computer. Now, when I record enable the track, set up an audio track, record enable the track. And in my in and out settings, I want to make sure that it's set to 1 2. When I first did it, it was on one, and that will only record in mono. And my computer is slow as hell, so I had to switch it to one and two. That way, it will record out of my computer in stereo. Of course, that's up to you. However, you want to do it, if you have the option. So I have a YouTube video queued up here. And I'm just going to record into this clip and start my YouTube video. And as you can see, it's recording in to Ableton right now. the video and that's Ableton playing the clip. Now I can chop that up, do whatever I want with it. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Mike Black, I'm out. Peace.